Well, hey everybody, it's Paul. Welcome again to my kitchen, and I got a special treat today. We're going to do some lasagna, but let me say right off the bat, it's not going to be authentic. It's not going to be traditional. It's going to be quick and easy, though, and that's what makes it fun. You can have really good food without spending and baking it for like eight hours or so. It will still taste good. I promise it's uh, one of our favorites in the house, so... Let's jump right into it. So the first thing that we need to do to make it quick and easy is let's brown our meat. I'm going to start with like three pounds of burger because we like a lot of meat in ours. Okay, so over here you can see I'm browning my three pounds of ground round. I want to put my, I use a big box. What is this? Uh, 16 ounces, a pound of lasagna noodles into some oily water. I don't end up using the whole box, so there's always some left over. Now we don't want our noodles overcooked. We don't want them falling apart. So we want them a little bit sturdy. So we're going to take them out of the hot water and run cold water on them. Now remember, this isn't trying to be authentic. It's not trying to be traditional. It's trying to be quick and easy. So I use some chunky tomato, onion, garlic. Spaghetti sauce into there. I give it about a, a big tablespoon of Splenda. And we don't have to worry about it being runny because no one likes a real dry lasagna. We want it to be moist and um, we're going to bake this for a while so some of that's going to come out. So the first thing I want to do is add a layer the meat sauce. Lasagna is always about the layers to me anyways. And you heard the buzzer that is the oven heated to 350. Now this is according to taste. Now this is going to get a lot of people. I'm only using half as much as most people do of the ricotta. I'm not a fan. I'm using uh, 15 ounces. If it were purely up to me, I probably wouldn't use any, but everybody kind of expects it, so you gotta put in a token amount. All right, so I'm using a nine by 13, and I'm not gonna lie, I am a pasta fanatic. Now we'll go with some of the ricotta. Okay, now that is enough ricotta. Here I got some mozzarella. I've got slices. You can use the shredded. The shredded probably goes on faster. The slices are a little bit more work, but I still think you can get more layers going if you use the slices, maybe. I don't know. I guess it's Whatever you have on hand is the right way to go. But the point is, you can't really have too much cheese. That's what I'm saying. Now let's put us some meat right on it. That sounds good. I don't think I've ever made this the same way twice, of course. So it's one of those recipes that is extremely forgiving I mean really how wrong can you go with pasta cheese and meat one box of those noodles gives you plenty here I've got some Parmesan cheese which I think you know it's all matter of taste if you like it or if you like the mozzarella better Just mix it right in with it And of course you always spill it all, that's part of the fun. Okay, now we gotta use up this beef here. Kind of even it out best we can. Okay, what do you say we do one more layer? So we're gonna have to put this for sure on a baking sheet of some sort, cause I don't think it's gonna spill over, but we don't wanna take that chance, do we? 
Got the oven at 350. I'm going to put it for about 30 minutes and I'll probably take this off in the last 10, 15 minutes. You want the cheese just a little bit brown. All right guys, now there's a finished product. Now that looks good. I like how the cheese just gets a little bit browned and it is ready to plate up. Now that is looking good.